Hi everyone, I'm Tess Hossum, Culture Lab LIC's Artistic Director, and today we are interviewing Kenny Greenberg, the co-curator on Luminous, the Art of Neon. Welcome, Kenny. Thank you. Good to be here, Tess. <laughs> Happy to see you again. Uh, working with Kenny on this show was a dream. We got to look at all sorts of neon art, and the collection we created here today I think is very special. So let's take it back from the top and talk to you about you. You're an artist. We have your work in the show. Can you tell us your journey to becoming a neon artist? Okay. Uh, my family is uh, mostly scientists, uh, though, though everyone has a little bit of art talent. Uh, but I was always the one kind of cartooning and building little objects and so on. Uh, but I had an entirely different career at first, uh, working in the field of child care, where I became an administrator. Uh, but my job ultimately became supervising and directing art therapists, dance therapists, music therapists, and so on. And somewhere in there, I guess that really, you know, really hit the, you know, stimulated me again to go, hmm, you know, I really want to get back into, like, seriously into the arts. Um, and it was about that time that I learned that human beings made neon. Mm -hmm. from being in a fairly high-level directorship position, um, overseeing pro programs in three different institutions, to almost sweeping floors in a glass shop to, to learn the art. Well, we love your art here. Um, the balance between the light and the materials that you work with um, are, are exciting. I'm specifically thinking of the piece with the big, rusty, heavy amulet thing, and then the Cord of beautiful light pulling it up. Long before most of you came to this neighborhood, the waterfront was kind of a wonderfully deserted place with large reeds of grass and wild dogs running around, and uh, and there was always something to find there. That we, and it was usually quite rusty, <laughs> and uh, so you know we we would uh, my wife and I would basically find things and bring them home, and we knew that one day we'd do something with it. So we have a whole collection of things like that, and. I've been staring at this piece for the longest time, uh, and just, you know, it, it was clear to me that I wanted to hang it on a delicate piece of, of light. We're happy to have it in the show. Can you tell us, though, for the non-neon people, what exactly is neon? Uh, well, one way to think of it is uh, when you see lightning in the sky. What's actually happening is in the upper atmosphere where the, where there's a much lower pressure in the air and a lot of static builds between the clouds. What happens is at a certain point, all the atoms in the air get ionized and it becomes lightning. It's light. Light happens just from the ionization of, of the gases under a low pressure. Neon is particularly interesting because it uses inert gases. So nothing is ever actually destroyed within the tube. It's just a continual, you know, kind of resilient, sustainable process uh, because what you're really doing is um, putting electricity into the glass tubes that are filled with uh, either neon or argon or helium or krypton, xenon, and they're just basically banging around and the result of all that banging around is light that's given off. I mean, there's a that is a more technical explanation, but you know, we need not go into that now. I like the idea that owning a piece of neon art is like owning lightning kind of captured in glass. Mm -hmm. So thank you for that imagery. <laughs> it's yeah. going to stick with me. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about uh, Jerry Rose, mm -hmm. uh, the late Jerry Rose. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we first started, so back in 2021, when I first met Kenny, I told him I was in love with neon and we sort of talked about his work mm -hmm. and kind of began our first conversations about putting together this exhibition. Can you tell us, for those who don't know him, a little bit about him and his work? Well, yeah, I mean, it's, um, I mean first of all, what was interesting was that um, I got a phone call from his brother, Ronnie Rose, who I didn't know, um, who didn't know me, and he was just basically calling various neon shops that he could find online. Um, and looking for some kind of advice and assistance in how to evaluate um, and what to do with a combination of 
artwork and equipment and so on that was uh, in uh, Jerry's locker. And once I learned that his last name was Rose, I was like, oh, Jerry Rose, I, I knew him, you know, and uh, we actually began almost at the same time and kept in touch uh, over the years. And in fact, um, several years back, a friend of mine and I tried to help Jerry with a gallery show. And I had taken photos of all the work that, that mo that's in our show right now. So I knew the work and I knew what it was and I was very excited about it. Um, and at some point uh, we started talking and I suggested that maybe he would want to auction the works to benefit Culture Lab. And to, you know, much to my gratitude, uh, Ronnie and his family were totally behind the idea. So here's, uh, here's the wall of uh, Jerry's works, and these are the works that are uh, being auctioned at incredibly reasonable prices. I love this piece, because it, it, I, I remember seeing this piece in the early 1980s when Jerry was first working. It was the first time I was just really impressed with his uh, abilities. This one is kind of an, uh, it goes with the, the mattress one. It, it's sort of an anomaly to the wild, uh, you know, whimsicalness of the other pieces because this one is just so geometric and so artistically interesting. Any of the work that's sold of roses goes directly to supporting Culture Lab and this nonprofit that is showcasing his work. And I was going to, and, and I, all, everyone agrees, anyone who knew Jerry, including especially his uh, family, they all agree that um, Jerry, first of all, would not believe this was going on. He'd be, he'd be thrilled. Um, and then the idea of supporting a nonprofit, an arts nonprofit, that, that would have been near and dear to his heart. Yeah. Well, and good news for everyone who hasn't yet had a chance to come in and see Luminous, The Art of Neon. The show is actually going to be extending its run through April 30th. So plenty of time to come in, bid on a new piece of art for your home, and also check out what is the largest collection of neon art in over a decade. Is that correct? I, I'd say even more than that, but yes. I mean, <laughs> to my memory, I cannot remember. Uh, let's say, let's keep it to New York City and say that I cannot remember anything uh, of this scale. Thank you all for tuning in today and our conversation with Kenny Greenberg. Uh, we hope you'll come in and see us soon. Thank you, Tess. Thank you, Kenny. Thank you.